Congressman Hakeem Jeffries joins me now in the studio to talk about the issues he's been fighting for and tell us what's been going on in Washington. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Good to see you again, Aaron. Uh, um, I wanted to start with something I, I noticed that you were um, in the middle of or part of the debate over the Confederate flag that really sort of came to a head a few months ago, rooted the tragedy down in South Carolina. Uh, and you got a, a, a bill passed on a voice vote, which is pretty pretty big deal um, about Confederate flags flying in certain um, public parks. Explain exactly what that was about. Yeah, that's correct. There was an appropriations bill that was on the floor uh, in the early part of January related to funding of the National Parks uh, Service system. And I introduced an amendment that would prohibit uh, federal funds from being used to purchase, uh, acquire, or display Confederate battle flags on National Park Service land, mm -hmm. as had been done in the past. That amendment was uh, accepted unanimously on voice vote, no objection by my Republican colleagues on the House floor. Two other amendments that same evening were also accepted uh, by voice vote related to the Confederate flag and the use of federal funds. We thought it was a done deal. Uh, but then the next day, uh, apparently, when some Southern conservative Republicans got wind of the uh, Confederate battle flag amendments that had been accepted, uh, there was a revolt uh, and an additional amendment was introduced to reverse uh, in part what had been done mm. the previous day by House Democrats with respect to prohibiting the use of federal funds. That then led uh, members of the Congressional Black Caucus and others to take to the House floor and denounce the fact that on the same day uh, when blacks and whites, Republicans and Democrats were lowering the Confederate battle flag, the symbol of divisive racial hatred uh, in South Carolina, House Republicans were trying to lift it up in National Park Service uh, property. And thankfully, uh, after about two hours of floor speeches by Democrats, House Republicans backed down and pulled the appropriations bill. One of those instances when um, oratory actually made a difference. A lot of times we get the impression that this is all sort of, you know, cut and dried and people vote on party lines or according to whatever their donors want them to do. Well, that's correct. And we concluded that morning uh, that it was going to be very important for us to inform our colleagues on the House Democratic side to send clear notice to all of the House Republicans that we understood what they were attempting to do and perhaps most importantly to communicate with the American people from one of the most powerful platforms that exist in this country which is the Florida House of Representatives and at least in this particular instance it proved to be effective. And, and, and what, what, about, what about places like, you know, I'm thinking about places like Gettysburg. I mean there are places where for historical reasons displaying the flag is not a political statement but just a, a part of American history, right? That's absolutely correct and part of my amendment accepted uh, instances for historical education purposes uh, and so that was one of the reasons why it was initially accepted without objection because we understood that in some instances it was appropriate to display the Confederate battle flag as part of a historical rendition, uh, reenactment, educational uh, seminars or sessions that are conducted mm -hmm. but it's unacceptable but that this divisive symbol of hatred could be elevated uh, in places using federal land when we know that there are so many people who are out there uh, who adhere to what it stands for, which is racial hatred and oppression. Okay. Uh, 